All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Code Fights, the intro, Island of Knowledge, are equally strong. That's where we're at. And what, are, what, what we're tasked with here is to find out, are these two arms equally strong between you and your friend, right? So you have your left arm, your right arm, and then you have your friend's left and your friend's right. So we're juggling four uh, parameters here, which is probably the hardest part about this as well as trying to understand what this nonsense says. So what you basically need to do is find out if your strongest arm is equal to your friend's strongest arm and your weakest arm is equal to your friend's weakest arm in terms of strength, then it's a true statement. If that's not true, then it's a false statement. That's all. So uh, the way that I did this was I just, I created four variables. One for your weakest, one for your strongest, one for a friend's weakest, and one's for a friend's strongest. And then I did ternary operator in each to find out uh, what is what. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So we got to find our strongest. Let's go ahead and open this up just a little bit. There we go. So these ternary ones are going to get kind of long. So if our, your weakest, is equal to, and then here's our statement for our ternary. It says your left is less than or equal to your right. And uh, I originally I did less than, but uh, for all these, but you have to do equal to or else it doesn't work with your logic and it, it works fine. So uh, your left, so if that's a true statement, if your left arm is, is the same strength or less than your right arm, you need to go ahead and set the value to your left. If it isn't, set it to your right. So, okay, now we know what the weak, your weakest arm is. Now, let's go ahead and do your strongest. And in here, you, in our here, in our statement here, we has, hey, is your left, we just reverse it, is greater than or equal to your right. And if that's the case, we can go ahead and return your left arm, because it's the strongest, or your right arm. And again, these are just values, right? So uh, that's why the less than or equal works. It's just 10, 15, etc. So now we know which arm your of the per, of the your who has the strongest arm and on you, and who has the weakest arm on you. Which arm is what? What those values are, and we're gonna take that same logic, and we're gonna say, hey, what is our friend's weakest? Is this equal here. And this will be friends left greater, greater than or equal to friends right. If that's true, we're going to return friends left. If it's false, we're going to return friends right. And finally, uh, friends strongest is going to be equal to here, and it'll be friends left less than, or excuse me, greater than or equal to friends right. And then here it is going to be friends left again, or friends right. Let's go ahead and, and split it up a little bit. All right, so now that we have that, what we need to do is just essentially check our values. So is your strongest, exactly equal to your friend's strongest and is your weakest exactly equal to friend's weakest and you know what I didn't do this in the original one but we don't need this if statement we can we can just do a return statement that's a ternary and so it's basically what we did this whole time. Might as well continue the train. So there's our statement. So if that's true, go ahead and return true. If it's not, return false. And I believe, assuming no syntax error, which is a big assumption. And your weakest. Well, thank you, love. Let's do here. So your left less than equal to your right. Let's actually see 
if maybe this ternary messed it up, but I'm pretty sure I have a syntax error somewhere. Yeah, okay, so the syntax there. Um, let's see, friends left is greater than or equal to friends right. Friends left, colon friends right. All right, so that's okay. And then we have friends left. Oh, here it is. That needs to be less than or equal. All right, and I believe we should be good now. And submit, and we're done. The hardest part about this challenge was kind of understanding what they were asking, which is typical code fights fashion. There's probably actually a mathematical way you can go about this, doing some pluses and minuses and modulo and stuff like that. Uh, and I'm sorry, I left the live stream chat up accidentally for that. Sorry about that for the people who will be watching this video later. But um, this was how I solved it. And uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. Support me on Patreon if you can. And if in, uh, join our Discord channel. All those links are in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.